The following is based on a true story. Hey everyone, by this point I already have, I had already grabbed a couple of things and put them inside the bathroom. Uh, here I'm grabbing uh, a little metal rod I custom made. You're gonna see the purpose of it in a second. And then here I'm grabbing a flathead screwdriver, which I needed to, in order to use that rod that I pulled this rod right here, which if you washed a little shower, a shower you've seen it before. Oh, I gotta wipe my feet because garage haven't vacuumed it. This is in the ba in the bathroom already, but that's what it originally is. I had already put it in there. I decided to record after I, I started it already. So I already brought in the baking soda, the spoon. I think I put a couple of spoonfuls, yeah. And then I said, I'm like, you know what, let me record this because I don't know if I have a recording of clean the shower yet. This is where we keep the uh, white the white vinegar. On top. It's in the garage, but it's already in the bathroom. Another thing I should mention, uh, this cleaning is a real quick cleaning because I wasn't sure if mom was going to shower in the morning or not. I already kind of figured that uh, our daughter showered last night because the mat that's right next to the uh, bathtub was wet. And the only time it gets wet is when mom or the baby, our baby uses the shower. And mom last night was just in bed pretty much the whole time. This part right here, um, maybe some people might kind of find this a little disgusting because uh, it's essentially none of this is really my hair except for maybe one little bit, which was like a couple, they looked like a few strands that were short. I might have been wanting to cut my hair, but you know, the hair gets stuck in there with all the goop from like the. Um, Hopefully it's just soap and nobody's peeing while they're in the shower. And um, so yeah, it's, it's like, it's the, the only people I use this bathroom are my wife and our daughter. And I feel bad that our daughter took a shower last night and, I, and I, with it, there was a bathtub like that, but at least tonight or if she showers tonight or tomorrow, it'll be clean. At the very least over the weekend while they were visiting uh, they're, you know, my daughter was visiting her maternal grandma and my wife, her mom. I did clean the, the toilet, and my wife does usually clean the counter by where by where the sink is. Sometimes, like you know, that that's that's what she cleans in the bathroom. I usually take care of the toilet and the shower, and the floor. But the floor, I don't do that, that often. I, I I usually just uh, I I, I if I only like if I mop the house two to three times a week. I, I mop the, to the bathroom once a week, sometimes every other week. But I, I do vacuum it like at least once a week though. Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit difficult getting all the hair out of there. Sometimes it's not that much. And then sometimes it's in there, but it's kind of hard to get. So I just try to take out as much as I can. In this case, I guess maybe because I did cut my hair recently, there's more hair like on, on the actual floor that might have been mine. So that's why I just got grabbed that piece of to uh, toilet paper to try to grab that hair that's loose right there. I don't know how much of that is mine, but pop could be all of it possibly. Sorry. Normally, uh, that's something you don't see in the U.S., uh, a garbage can in the bathroom. Normally, everybody just flushes the, their sanitary paper down into toilet paper down the toilet. But for some reason, um, our toilet, it gets clogged easily. I don't know what the cost of it is. So we've had to resort to, unfortunately, using uh, the 
you know, the receptacle tank with, we usually use just Publix bags. So at least we recycle. So I made breakfast for basically. I was gonna take a shower. I think our daughter already took one. And the reason why I say that is because whenever her or her mom take a shower, this mat that's right next to the, you know, to the shower, it's wet. It's, it gets wet. It's like they don't dry themselves up really good. So obviously what I did first, I put baking the baking soda where it's dirty. I know the place is dirty. And then we put a little bit of um, this. This is uh, white vinegar. Just relax with it. Okay, right now I edited it. I was looking for the usual, I have a cup and a sponge that I used, but I couldn't find this, so I resorted to using this sponge instead. Uh, I like using the other cup and a sponge because I can put the sponge into the cup. I usually fill the cup with just clean water. That way I can, you know, as I'm washing it, I can dip the sponge in it, but I just used this one last second. Like I said, this, is gonna be a, a, this was intended to be a quick wash. already took a shower last night I'm pretty sure the first thing I did I was taking the hairs that get stuck down there which obviously aren't mine because you guys see my head but you want to get rid of those hairs because if you don't the water doesn't flush correctly later for now you see like that things here I'm gonna use that I already have it set to that another thing to keep in mind obviously um, I cannot do as good of a job as if I would have been able to do it with both of my hands. But I just wanted to do this just to make more content this morning. That's, uh, I guess that's what they call like soap grease or soap uh, scum, I'm not exactly sure, but definitely would have needed to apply like baking soda, like directly and, and vinegar directly on there and scrubbed like with like actual like elbow grease in order to get, get all that off and maybe use a better sponge. Baking soda to all these places with the vinegar, it's gonna be a hard time for it to come off. 
but I'll give it a better cleaning later at another time. After the fact, <clears throat> baby already went to school, but as I was editing this video, I realized the front of this garbage can, so it looks like it's dirty with uh, like, uh, stuff for hair, so let's give it a quick wipe down. jobs it's hard to buy cleaning supplies on a tight budget because uh you know the whole our whole economy you know trickle down economy when it gets to the bottom it's really food stamps it's not even money bag today and our daughter I put this was brand new yesterday and yesterday was when our daughter came back home I don't know if it's her or her. I'm not gonna say anything else hi right, well thank you for watching and um, if you are still now I really appreciate you please hit the like subscribe and share and if you like and everybody that subscribed to me until now, I thank you so very much. Okay, ciao. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for everybody who subscribed and hits the likes. Uh, please check out the descriptions. Thank you.